Today we're in Oceanside, California, and we're going to discuss the pros and cons of living in this beach town. It's going to be an exceptional, fun-filled day, so stay tuned. My name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty right here in California. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as we do weekly videos talking all about living, working, and playing right here in California. Today we're going to discuss the pros and cons of living in Oceanside. It's a glorious day. There's hundreds of people in and about the town. We're going to hang out, grab some food, as well as hit the beach as well. Oceanside is strategically located right in the middle of LA and San Diego where you can easily access family favorite attractions so let's get right into it what a beautiful day here in Oceanside California Oceanside is going to be a laid-back ocean town with spectacular year-round weather beautiful beaches great people all around you on a daily basis bungalow neighborhoods as well there is so much to love and like about living and visiting oceanside city here in california however as we already know no city is perfect neither is oceanside so in this video we're going to get in depth not only about the good but also the bad of living right here in oceanside as you already know i like my dessert first so we're going to start with the pros Okay, let's start with the first pro of living here in Oceanside. It's probably the most common, and that's going to be the weather. The weather in Southern California is absolutely amazing year round. The winters are very, very mild. I don't think it ever gets cold, or at least not significantly. The summers are nice and warm as well. It's not as humid as other parts of the country, such as Texas or Florida, where you can't walk outside without perspiring, just walking to your vehicle. So if you enjoy being out and about the outdoors getting exercise or maybe you're just taking in the views and walking throughout the city the weather right here on Oceanside is going to be spectacular year-round while the summer gets hot in some parts of California the maritime winds and ocean currents ensure it's mild here over 250 days of the year are warm and sunny in Oceanside the comfort rating of the weather here is 9.1 out of 10 which is impressive by all standards Okay, moving on to the next pro, and that's going to be crime or the lack thereof. Live in Oceanside, you're going to be safe and secure. You shouldn't have any issues. The crime rate here in Oceanside is lower than the national average, and it's also lower than the state average as well. Okay, moving on to the next pro, and that's going to be outdoor activities. You're in a city with perfect weather. We're the most beautiful oceans in the world, so I can assure you there are things to do outdoors each and every day. Whether you want to go fishing, jet skiing, boating, kayaking, maybe you just want to walk the beach, take in a sunset or a sunrise on a rare occasion, for me anyways. There are so many things to do, and a lot of them are just free of charge. Nothing beats taking a nice jog or stroll down the beach and taking in some of the most beautiful views in Southern California. Or you could rent one of these little bikes, trikes, cruise down the beach, run people over, drive fast, and take chances. There is so much to do right here in Oceanside. It's absolutely amazing. Whether you're single or like myself and have a family, it's a great place to visit or live in. Okay, moving on to the next pro. It could be a con, just depending on how you feel in regards to the school grade. The Oceanside School District is ranked 14th in the greater San Diego area. And according to niche.com, received a B. Yes, no, maybe, I'm not sure. I have extremely high standards when it comes to my kids public education because I refuse to pay for private school. I would like for the school district to be ranked an A. However, it is a solid B, so I don't see it as a con or a negative. It's going to be definitely a solid school district right here in Oceanside. While researching most schools I saw were rated a B or higher with an average graduation rate of 87%. Reviews from parents and students alike share how impressive the schools are in town. 
Okay, we just wrapped up a couple of the pros of living here in Oceanside. Obviously, there's numerous more pros. However, guys, we don't have hours to produce this video. So we're just going to showcase four of the top pros and four of the top cons. Saying that, let's move on to the cons of living here in Oceanside. And the number one con is going to be traffic. Even though it's a quiet town, it is definitely reeking with havoc in regards to traffic in every direction. It's going to take you quite a bit of time just to get across and in and about town. In addition to that, the parking is horrific, horrendous. I literally had to drive around for 15 to 20 minutes before I found a parking spot. So traffic, parking issues are definitely a con right here in Oceanside. The average commute time for one-way trip in the city is higher than the national average. The city also experiences traffic because the I-5 passes right through the city. During peak hours, the highway can become gridlocked, and if you're working in another city such as San Diego, you will likely face more traffic issues during your commute. Okay, moving on to the next con, and it's going to be a big one, and that's going to be the cost of living. So be prepared to pay more for pretty much everything if you decide to move to Oceanside. California as a whole is about 50% higher than the national average, and right here in Oceanside, it's going to be almost 44% higher than the national average, which is significant. So if you're trying to be frugal, save some money, cut a deal, forget about it. It's not going to happen right here in Oceanside. While this is still lower than California's cost of living, it's high enough to be expensive for most people. Only the cost of health care is cheaper than the national average here. Other basic expenses cost more. Living in Oceanside is a thrilling experience. The city offers great weather, plenty of sunshine, and miles of beaches next to the Pacific Ocean. While the cost of living is a bit higher and housing is expensive, these and other drawbacks don't take the city's charm away. It's still an incredible place and might be suitable for your lifestyle. Closely related to the high cost of living in the city is the cost of housing. The average price of a home in the United States is around $299,000. In California, it's around 700000 which is more than double the national average. For Oceanside, the average cost is even higher than the California average at 722000 In the past, homes in the city used to be much cheaper, but it's no longer the case. Since houses are expensive, it's not surprising that rents are also high. The average rent in Oceanside is 2055 which is clearly above the national average. So be prepared to spend a sizable part of your income on housing. Fortunately, the medium household income is higher than the national average, which means families have more money at their disposal. This will prove helpful in offsetting the costly expenses that come with living here. As you can see, one of the most significant dents that will be put into your monthly budget is going to be housing. You can't get around it, guys. You're going to either have to purchase or rent, and in either case, it's definitely going to be higher than the national average. However, you do have a friend in Oceanside, and we're going to assist you negotiate the best possible terms and conditions when buying or renting. Don't forget, Richard Soto VIP Realty is here to assist you with all your real estate needs. Now, let's move on to the next car. Guys, you see this right behind me? It's a vehicle, which leads me to our next con, and that's going to be that you're going to need a vehicle if you reside right here in Oceanside. While there are pockets that are very walkable, and you can walk to the grocery store, the beach, your high-rise condo, loft, town, or whatever the case is. However, the majority of the time, you're definitely going to need a vehicle, whether it's running errands in and around town, or if you're needing to commute to work, a vehicle is going to be very important and much needed if you reside right here in Oceanside. According to walk score, the city has a walkability score of 36, a transit score of 33, and a bike score of 33. Despite its low scores, some neighborhoods in the city also are quite walkable, but it generally has little bike infrastructure. So if you're an individual or a family who prefers to have a very walkable neighborhood or city to live in, this is definitely not it. However, ah, it's really not that bad. The drive is going to be enjoyable because you're going to have beautiful weather and a beautiful scenery all around you 365 days a year. Okay guys, it's that time of the day. I'm feeling a little bit hungry and the taco stand 
directly behind me is calling my name. I'm feeling a little bit parched as well, so I might have to get myself a margarita. I hope you enjoyed the day right here in Oceanside. If you're thinking about relocating to Southern California, my team and I, VIP Realty, would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.